What's up gamers? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. You are definitely going to want to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a major Disney Dreamlight Valley update like the one I have for you today. The developers have shared with us the content roadmap for the rest of 2024. It is absolutely amazing. I did take a peek at it already, but I'm going to go over everything with you guys. You're going to lose your minds. It is so good. But if you're unfamiliar, the content roadmaps give us an idea of what we can expect in the upcoming updates to the game. And we get a lot of really cool information from them. So let's go ahead and take a look at the blog post that they shared with us this morning. All right, you guys, here we are over on the Dreamlight Valley website. It says what's next for Disney Dreamlight Valley. Oh my gosh. I cannot tell you how loud I screamed when I saw that they posted this this morning. All right, let's just go ahead and read the first part here. It says, Welcome Valley Villagers. I'm Joshua LaBelle, the creative director of Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'm delighted to celebrate almost two years of living magically with you and to talk about some of what the future has in store for the valley. Thank you for two years of living magically. Oh my God, and look at this. Oh my goodness, it's got all of the updates. Yeah, this is all of the updates, including the expansion. Oh my gosh. Since we launched Disney Dreamlight Valley, we have added a ton of exciting content for you to enjoy. In 2024 so far, we've introduced two free realms and five new free characters alongside an expansion pass that added even more characters, quests, furniture, and clothing. We've also made highly requested improvements to Scrooge McDuck's store, furniture mode, and dream snaps. Today, we will unveil a bit more of what 2024 has in store while reaffirming our dedication to listening to your feedback and making continual improvements to the game. The end of one roadmap is just the start of another. First hinted at in our last roadmap, we're excited to bring Tiana to the valley in our next free content update this August. So this month, you guys, alongside Tiana's place, which I knew it, I called it, new outdoor decor and a star path that will bring a touch of 1920s class to your village. That's really exciting. Alongside the addition of Tiana, our expansion pass, Disney Dreamlight Valley, A Rift in Time will also come to an epic close as part of this next update. You'll venture deep into Jafar's palace to put a stop to the schemes alongside a few more exciting surprises. We'll have more to share about this exciting update in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. Yes, and this is why you need to be subscribed to me and you need to have your notifications on because I am going to cover all of that. As we approach the end of our current roadmap, we know you're eager to hear more about the future of the game. We invite you to check out our roadmap for the rest of 2024. And here it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, oh my God. I'm, I'm too excited. Calm down. All right. So this August, so this month, we are getting Tiana. It looks like we're getting, hang on, can I zoom in? Oh, look at that. Okay, so we are getting Tiana. Here's our first look at her. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I love this outfit she's wearing, to be quite honest with you, but I'm sure that we will be getting dream styles for her. That we have to, and most likely in the star path, we'll, we'll have a dream style for her. That seems to be the trend lately. Um, we'll also be getting, oh, look at this house behind her. This has to be either the restaurant or her house. So we are for sure confirmed getting a new restaurant, Tiana's place or pal Tiana's palace. I am so excited for that. I cannot even explain it to you. And we'll be getting the new star path. And then of course we have the last part of our expansion pass here, which is also a very, very exciting. We probably will be getting Jafar added as a character that will be running around our valleys, which I absolutely love. And then next we'll be getting, in October, we'll be getting our next update after the Tiana one. And this is going to be one of those smaller updates, which we will talk about more in a second. It says return to the Lion King realm to meet Timon and Pumbaa. So we're gonna be heading back into the Lion King realm. That means that we won't be getting a new realm for this one. I'm so sorry if you can hear my cat in the background. She's just being insane. But anyway, we will at least be getting these two guys joining the valley, which I'm so excited about. I know they're just going to say hilarious things 
And actually, if we look down here after the October update, sometime in between these two updates, we're going to get another showcase stream. So last year we got a stream in early. No, it was in November because our last update of 2023 was December 5th. So sometime before December, we are going most likely in November, we are going to be getting another stream. Now in the last one, not only did they showcase the next update and features and all of that stuff, but they also announced the expansion pass. So I don't think it's crazy to say that we could possibly be getting another expansion pass. And I'm wondering if this item here is maybe a hint towards that. We'll have to come back and take a closer look at this and see if we can figure it out. And then lastly, in late 2024, most likely in December, we're going to have another, it looks like another Nightmare Before Christmas update. And it looks like maybe we'll be getting Sally. So that would be awesome for Sally and Jack to be reunited. And it says stitch a new mystery together. So I'm thinking that it's going to be Sally. It's going to be a new Nightmare Before Christmas update with a wintry or Christmassy star path. That's my guess. That's my speculation. All right. And if we move on, they do say here that the October update will be smaller in scope and shorter with the focus on fixes and quality of life improvements to make your game experience smoother and more enjoyable as we ramp up to a bigger update later in the year. That doesn't mean that the update won't have some exciting surprises and new content as well. Now, I did read this earlier and at first I was like, well, that makes sense. The, the updates in between, the big updates are smaller, but I think that because they said that it's shorter and smaller and they made that a specific statement there, that this one won't have a star path. I don't think it's going to, you guys. If it does, it might just be smaller in scale and shorter. I'm not really sure. But they make no mention of a star path for the October one that I can tell. It says, we're excited to announce that the, this update will also bring a beloved duo to the game, Timon and Pumbaa from Disney's The Lion King. Return to the Lion King realm to find new surprises and bring the pair back to your village. With a little aid from the Forgotten, you'll help Timon and Pumbaa face down an invasion of Night Mites, a nasty new problem connected to Night Thorns and the Forgetting. So that's really exciting. Are we going to have like a new kind of, you know, enemy? Later in the year, we'll bring you another exciting showcase where we'll reveal some big surprises still to come in 2024. Hopefully the teaser in the roadmap will tide you over alongside information about our 2025 roadmap. So this next section just mainly talks about how the developers are listening to our feedback and they are making changes based on what we want to see in the game. Beyond growing the game with new content, we've also focused on listening to your hopes and dreams about existing features and how they can be improved. From decorating to organizing your wardrobe and furniture to improving photo mode. Ooh, you guys. I have been begging for photo mode updates. We're going to dedicate more time in the next year to making the features you know and love even better. Thank goodness, you guys. So they basically talk a little bit here about the changes that they've made already to Scrooge's store to improve it based on our feedback. And for the rest of 2024, we will have a strong focus on delivering more highly requested improvements like this. And then, you guys, a major bombshell is revealed. A search bar. O-M-G. Finally, we're going to be getting, at some point in the near future, the thing that people have been begging for, including myself, and that is a search bar for the furniture mode. Hopefully for other modes as well, like recipes, um, even the wardrobe. It says, for instance, look out for big improvements to our furniture and wardrobe menus in our next update. The update will include some of our most highly requested features to help you better sort through and manage your items. Do you have any guesses? 
which they pretty much already told us is going to be a search bar. We've also heard that your valleys are getting a little crowded. We're working on new free features that will help to give you much more space and freedom to decorate. Interesting. We sincerely thank you for your patience and as we listen to your feedback and work to make the game a better experience. All right, giving you more ways to play together or keep your cozy solo experience. Some Disney Dreamlight Valley players love adventuring to other villages, working together with friends to complete goals and sharing their creativity with each other. Others come to the valley for a cozy solo experience. No matter which way you prefer to play, we want to make you feel welcomed and rewarded as part of the community. Coming in the next update, cross-platform multiplayer will arrive for PlayStation consoles. This means PlayStation users will be able to play with friends on other platforms, visit their villages, share touch of magic designs, and engage in Dream Snaps challenges. Watch out for cross-save on PlayStation consoles to be added later this year. That is a huge deal, you guys. In 2025, we will be adding even more ways to play together, but don't worry if you prefer playing solo. These new features will still support you and be just as rewarding. All right, in, in closing, it's an honor to work with the immensely talented team behind Disney Dreamlight Valley. We're not just game developers first and foremost, we're super fans of the game the genre, and Disney. Our entire team is just as excited as you for every new character, clothing, and furniture inspired by a lifelong love of Disney and Pixar stories and trips to Disney parks. As for me, I was that kid who knew every single line of Disney's Aladdin by heart, wore out my VHS of The Lion King, and would try to find evidence of my Woody and Buzz Lightyear's toys moving around my room when I wasn't looking. I'm still that kid at heart, and I hope that our game brings out that kid in you, whether it's through the magic of Disney or achieving peak life sim coziness. Each update, we eagerly look forward to your reactions, laugh at your memes and videos, and look for ways to improve the game based on your feedback. We can't wait to share another year of living magically with all of you. Stay tuned next week for a preview of our next update and be sure to watch out for our showcase later this year to find out more about all of the exciting surprises that we've got in store. See you in the valley. So what do you guys think? Oh my God, there is so much to look forward to for the rest of this year. I cannot wait to check out this new showcase and see what's coming next year, you guys. But I have got to get my valley ready for Tiana because that is the next step in this journey is getting a Tiana and her new restaurant. I am so excited for that. Let me know what you think of the new features that are coming to game and what you think of this new roadmap because it, it definitely dropped a lot of great information for us. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my valley ready for this next update. I hope that you have a magical rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye.